When the app first runs, users should see a totally innocuous screen with nothing secret visible. But we also don't want secret information to be visible when the user leaves the app for a moment, then comes back, or if they swipe up or double tap the home button to multitask. Doing so might mean the app's left unlocked, which is the last thing we want. To make this work, we're going to start by giving our view controller a totally innocuous title that absolutely won't arouse any suspicion whatsoever. I'm going to scroll up to view to load. And I'll say our title is nothing to see here. That absolutely won't make anyone wonder what's going on. Next, we're going to create two new methods. Unlock secret message to load the message into the text view and save secret message. But before we do that, I want to introduce you to a helpful class called Keychain Wrapper, which we'll be using to read and write keychain values. Now, this class was not made by Apple. Instead, it's open source software released under the MIT license. This means we can use it in our own projects as long as the copyright message remains intact in the source code. Now, this class is needed because working with Apple's keychain is complicated, far harder than anything we've done so far. And this is problematic because if you get it wrong, you might lose user data or corrupt user data, or perhaps even worse, expose user data to the world in an insecure way, all of which is a bad idea. So instead of using the device keychain directly, we will be using this wrapper class that makes the keychain work much more like user defaults. If you haven't already downloaded this project's files from GitHub, please do so now. They're at github.com slash two straws slash hacking with Swift. I have them already on my desktop. So we're gonna have to find her here. Look for Hacking with Swift and look for Project 28 files. Boom. These two files here, Keychain Item Accessibility and Keychain Swift. Please drag both of those into your Project Navigator now and add them to your project. And the first of our two new methods, Unlock Secret Message, needs to show the text view, then load the Keychain's text into it. Loading strings from the Keychain using Keychain Wrapper is as simple as using its string for key method. But the result's optional, so you should unwrap it once you know there's a value there, or use nil coalescing. Let's scroll down right now. We'll say func unlock secret message. Secret dot is hidden is false. So when it's been unlocked, show the text with our stuff inside. And change our title to be not innocuous. We'll say secret stuff rather than nothing to see here. Next, we'll read the user saved string from the keychain. Here's that in code. We'll say if let text equals keychain wrapper dot standard dot string for key. And we'll use a key name secret message. And if that works, we'll say secret dot text equals that text. Put that text inside our text view. Alternatively, we can use nil coalescing to provide a default empty string for the first time the apps run. We can say secret.text equals that keychain wrapper standard uh, string for key stuff. Then delete the rest of the text and instead use nil coalescing with an empty string. So try loading that key from the keychain, otherwise provide an empty string back. The second of our two new methods, save secret message, needs to write a text use text to the keychain, then make the text view hidden. This is done using the set method of keychain wrapper, so it's just as easy as reading. However, we should only execute this code if the text view is currently visible. Otherwise, if a save happens for the apps unlocked, it'll overwrite the save text. So we'll say func save secret message. And immediately we'll have a guard statement here saying guard secret dot is hidden is false else return. So we're making sure that secret is definitely visible before we run the rest of this code. And if it's hidden, bail out immediately. Don't try and save yet. After that, we'll write our string to the keychain. We'll say keychain wrapper dot standard dot set our secret text for the key, and we used secret message like that. Next, we'll say secret dot resign first responder. Make the text view stop being active on the screen right now. Then we can hide it by saying secret dot is hidden is true. And of course, when that's hidden, it'll show the button behind it. And finally, put our title back to being the innocuous nothing to see here, which will arouse zero suspicion whatsoever. Now there are still two questions remaining. How should users trigger a save when they're ready? 
And how do we ensure that as soon as the user starts to leave the app, we make their data safe? For the first problem, consider this. How often do you see a save button in iOS? Hardly ever, I expect, if ever at all. It turns out that one answer solves both problems. If we automatically save when the user leaves the app, then they need never worry about saving because it's done for them. And our save method we just wrote automatically hides a text view as soon as it's called. So the app becomes safe as soon as any action is taken to leave it. Up in our view did load method, we are already using notification sensor to watch for the keyboard appearing and disappearing. And we can watch for another notification that will tell us when the application stopped being active, i.e. when our app has been backgrounded or the user's gone to multitasking mode or similar. This notification is called UI application dot will resign active notification. And we have an observer for that that will call our save secret message method. So first, I'm going to that method down here and add the at obj keyword so it can be called by notification center. Next, up in view to load, we'll add a new observer. We'll say notification center dot add observer self select will be hash selector save secret message. For the name, we're going to watch UI application dot will resign active notification and the object will be nil. So combined, it means call save secret message as soon as they leave the app or go to multitasking or similar. And the last thing to do before the app's actually useful is to make tapping the authenticate button call unlock secret message. So down here, we will say unlock secret message. Now, other than saving data to the iOS keychain, which is secure, the app itself is not secure at this point. There's no actual authentication taking place. It just calls unlock straight away. Let's give it a try now. I'm going to select the uh, iPhone XR simulator, then press Command R to build and run our code. There's our button, authenticate, with a nice title, nothing to see here. When I press that, we should see secret stuff with our text view. Here we go. I'm going to say into here, uh, H E L L O, then add the line breaks to make sure it all scrolls correctly. Boom, look at that. Exactly right. That's nice. And when I start leaving the app, you'll see nothing to see here pops in straight away with the authenticate button. It's all working nicely. Perfect.